Hi, my name is Alessandro Ganderosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Today we'll continue to work at the uh, architectural scene we were working before and we'll start uh, to model more stuff for the wall and finalize the thing we have actually. So, uh, the first thing we were doing is to work on this part and we'll add more stuff over the ground and more stuff all around the room. So, uh, first thing, let's start creating a, a, some kind of uh, additional um, table over the ground. So, let's zoom there. Our room is really big, you know. And let's go in the camera to see if we can see uh, more space and more stuff of our camera to see it better okay so maybe something like that to have more space and more things so uh, we can create something uh, on the in the middle there so we'll have something uh, on the ground and to do something like that we can have Let's do it uh, with a box. Maybe something really big, but not so much high. So it will stay in the middle. Let's imagine in a place like that. Okay. And it will be a little bit higher. And let's say that this one is the carpet. Okay. So uh, this one needs a shader. Uh, let's clean up just to have more space there. And uh, let's say carpet. And we'll use a V ray material. And let's assign. Okay. So uh, I like to do. Um, something with this one and let's see first of all to have a nice material so uh, let's go to have a bitmap and we go inside the 3ds max maps and let's see in the maps there if we have something that can be uh, nice to be used So nothing so much interesting for the moment. Because I like to find something that uh, can be nice to have on the ground. Let's see there because I saw something that maybe uh, can be interesting. So let's see if this one is used at 90 degree. Okay, we no blurring. And then we'll have a little bit of fractional reflection. Just a little bit. With an EV, a glossy. And we'll have a little bit of anisotropy so 0 3 and let's go to render a test but I like to remove all the slow stuff so we go for something really fast and there we go for a lower amount so 32 1 and there 32 megabytes the gigabytes let's start to render okay stop and render just this area okay we have this thing over the ground uh, let's start playing with the uh, the displacement so let's go to have more segments okay and then we have the v-ray displacement modifier 
and let's start playing with a 3 uh, 2D 2D mapping and let's use something and we can go in the maps there and put a displaced map there we can use let's see if we have something similar to a carpet uh, let's see maybe something like that can be interesting so uh, let's see this map obviously it is too big and let's go to use the tiling so 5 and 5 maybe 10 over this axis and let's go for 0 2 for the blurring but obviously we don't use the displacement there we use just the texture put there as an instance let's remove the filtering for the moment and save and now we try to see if in this way we can have a nice result let's go for the 3d mapping so we try uh, actually uh, the right uh, way uh, let's say that we have 32 max subdivision let's go with a higher uh, amount of value but first of all i like to search okay the displacement is set to on uh, so let's say five centimeters and we use this map and let's say that we use maybe 64 and two pixels for the edges So that's the actual result. You see that we have something. Uh, we have to say, first of all, that we use the keep continuity so we have no problem over the border. And let's try to say that we have three for the amount and we can render again. And it should be working fine, but just a test. To be sure okay you see that uh, it's really nice uh, now I'd like to add a little bit of uh, displacement done also using a, a noise map so uh, let's do something like that so let's go there and let's use a composite keep all map as submap and then there we use let's go for a noise and we go for uh, let's say something like that with the fresh uh, the fractal one so you see I'm just trying to have a little bit of stuff all around and let's say that this one is an addition to the other one let's say maybe 25% or 35 and let's make a test again because we have to be sure that the scaling is right we see something there you see I like to have a bigger scale but to do something like that we can use the normal we use 100% and we go for let's say 100% and let's see the result so we are sure about the scaling okay you see that we have some distortion so we can say to have a little bit more so four centimeters so uh, let's check again the render okay this is a little bit more visible so uh, we can stay with five and we go for addition and we have a right addition there so uh, let's try to see if it works fine okay so we can have a lower value for this one so we'll have less bumping uh, displacement for this pass and more for the other one last test 
and that's done. Okay, let's say that we stay with this value and we can move forward. We have the carpet. Now I like to add a table. So to add a table, we have just to create for the moment a box just to have the proportion. Okay, so actually that's, let's say, uh, two meters by one meters so it's really big and let's say 50 centimeters and we can have it there and let's move to the center of this one nice so uh, we have to model the uh, the table starting from this mesh so we can do something really simple and I mean we can close there we have just a box and we can for example convert to editable poly now we get to have all the passes there all the edges sorry can have the sunfer and we go to have 0 0.25 for the sunfer with two steps and say yes okay then I like to have another box let's say similar to this one so we say that this one is more little uh, it's this one and let's zoom so it will be something like that and something like that okay so this one will go to F and it will be also higher so we'll have a little right and let's make another copy and this one will be lower but bigger and just using a really simple way to do the things I need and then clone as a copy and this one is more little we can use something like that okay so um, let's go at full screen and we pick the first one and let's go for compound pro boolean we have set the subtraction and the first one let's go in perspective and start picking also this one and also this one okay nice so you have in a really fast way uh, this part of the table and everything is really really fast okay nice so um convert to editable uh, sorry okay now I like to peak in isolation let's convert to editable poly and over those edges I like to do A little bit of sunfer because we have no sunfer there and we have no sunfer also on the other subtracted edges so let's try to select all the edges needed check also this one and also there using the shift key obviously so I like to be sure to have everything right there and there too 
the other outer are right so we have not to select the the outer stuff but this one for example must be selected okay and there we can use the sunfer again with 0 25 as before and we can have two segments and say yes and close okay back to the camera nice okay back to the uh, perspective and we can start adding more stuff and I mean the first thing we can have is uh, a plane um, but before I like to use an ID material so we have all the faces set to 1 okay and then I like to have just there set to 2 okay nice uh, back there let's say table center just to know that this one is at the center and we have a multi sub objects keep all map set the number 2 okay the number 1 is this one and that's good and that's uh, a V-Ray material and we have a wood material obviously I will use uh, some maps there from 3ds Max if you have a better wood material please use it so let's see if we have something that can be interesting like this one let's rotate by 90 degree and no blurring Freshness reflection, <coughs> sorry. Let's go for maximum reflectivity. <coughs> and let's copy the same map there as a copy. Then we go inside this wood and we use the color correction, keep all map. And we remove the saturation. And we can add brighter reflectivity. Okay then we need uh, the glossiness let's make a copy <coughs> sorry let's go for a little bit more glossiness something like that can be nice but we have obviously to check it and then we need the bump and something like this one can be useful to have it there let's say five so not so much bumping and the blurring can be 0, 3 okay then the e material number 2 is a V-Ray material and that's a chrome material black fresh and reflection with maximum reflectivity and let's say that the IORR is uh, maybe 16 and we have a really high glossiness with a little bit of anisotropy. Okay, back there. So now I'd like to have a glass over it. And let's say that this one is a com oh, sorry, an extended primitive sample box. Okay and this one is two meters let's say one meters two centimeters maybe one and the fillet is 0 25 maybe less because it is a glass so 0 15 the eight is one centimeter we put this one in the middle okay then we move it over it to a place like this one I like to see really near okay so uh, let's zoom there we can put um, a sunfur cylinder just to have something that stay down this part to stay 
under the the glass okay so we'll have something there the radius is nice the 8 is too much and the fillet can be just a little bit uh, let's say 24 sides and more for the fillet and there we can have a white gum we use a V-ray material uh, let's say something like that with a little bit of yellow over it freshen reflection just a little bit and let's go for something like that nice okay uh, we make a copy on the other side as an instance Let's go there to zoom. And select both. As instance. Then we can zoom this one. And let's see, sorry, that we are moving over the right axis. Okay, let's go to the physical camera. Then let's pick the glass. And let's say table glass. It is a V-ray material. Let's go for a black color. We have the freshen reflection with one four for the IRR. And let's say that we have an EV uh, reflection, but we have the uh, IRR set to 101 one for the refraction, and we have a really heavy refraction. So, back in the render, let's select this bigger area there and render. Okay, let's remove just for a moment the um, the displacement just to be faster. And uh, let's say to the refraction to affect the shadows. And let's use a little bit of, uh, let's say something like that, of fog multiplier. Let's see again how it looks. It is obviously too much, so let's go for 0, 3, and let's render just this area. So you see it's just a little bit. Okay, so uh, the other things I like to do is to uh, add more detail to the table so we have to add more stuff and i like also to add a little bit of bumping maybe later mm -hmm. so let's go to use one there and ten there for the refraction and i like to add another piece inside and then talking about a structure there and to do something like that, we can do something like a box. This obviously more little it stay up something like that and we have two centimeters and we have it 
there maybe we can put some metals to uh, to pick the uh, the wood and I like to let's say convert to editable poly and we pick all the edges and all the edges as a sumfer of 0 0.25 with two segments or three segments okay nice so let's go there and let's give the same material and then from the top view we can go there and we can make something made of metal and to do something like that we can have let's say a compound object uh, sorry an extended primitive a sunflower box and let's say something like that okay this one must be moved and we can have it higher so it will be something like that to pick the entire material and we say that this one let's go for a material ID so material ID number two and we use the same material okay so let's make a clone using the shift key as a, uh, as an instance and let's move it we get to zoom it and then let's select both and we make a clone as instance zoom <coughs> sorry just on one and we move it nice let's save made the test okay maybe we can have less bumping but we have to check it so that's nice and now I'd like to put something over uh, the wall and let's start preparing something and we can do maybe we can create uh, let's pick a sphere okay let's rotate by 90 degree okay so we have to do something to make it uh, more usable so uh, let's go in a perspective and zoom isolate and let's say that we have 64 generate mapping coordinates then convert to editable poly let's pick all the oh, sorry with the selection in your back facing select all the faces there and remove so we have no capping uh, then I like to pick that's vertices there let's use a soft selection it will be lower and let's say that will be something like that okay so you see uh, it's uh, more simple it's not a problem to have the stuff there maybe we can just move it inside okay so we are sure it is working and then we can use a shell nice and let's go for a little bit less 
and then edit poly and we can select let's go to see the edges faces we have for example this one if we use sorry um, if we use the loop and then we select for example this one and this one and we select the loop we can go there and use the sumfer we can use just maybe 0 15 with more subdivision okay and we have our mesh so back to the physical camera and edges faces and let's put this one over the table and we can have this one on this side there it is in the middle okay and this one can have a black color uh, let's say sphere base it is a V-ray material it is black just maybe one there it has pressure reflection with maximum reflectivity and let's go in the oh, sorry in the viewport just to check the rendering so let's say that we render this part okay you see that this uh, really reflective so then we say that it has a really high glossiness let's render in the test okay it is going to be better I like to have just a little bit of anisotropy and I like to have a bump and we can have a bitmap let's see if we have something that can be useful in this case maybe we can use something like that I know that it is not the right one but it can be uh, nice to see how it looks over it let's see just if we have something more interesting or maybe we can use this one okay nice uh, let's see the map and let's start with the tiling then and then so really little and let's remove the bump uh, the blurring to really low value and let's say minus 50 and render we should see something over the surface okay I like maybe to add just a little bit more glossiness okay and save in a really fast way let's try to add more stuff to the table so let's pick this part let's go in isolation so we have the stuff needed to create more uh, more interesting things so uh, something that we can add is something abstract uh, for modern home so we go to have let's say that we have a line okay and this one as a late at minimum let's say 36 well core perspective and zoom to the object okay and then this one as 
a shell modifier. Okay. And then we have an edit poly. Let's go for the edges faces. Okay. And select this one and this one loop and then sumfer to zero fifteen with three edges. Okay, nice. Perfect. Let's make a copy. This one, the line is different. So let's say that we have this line lower. This one stays there, and this one is there. Then that's with the late and the shell and the edges faces the edit poly. Okay, close. And we can have the pivot at the center and this one the pivot at the center. Okay, this one can be rotated by 180 degree. And this one can stay a little bit moved but we use two chromic metal chromic and we can assign to the same and the material will be a v-ray material let's go in the perspective with a physical camera and we have a black color pressure and reflection let's say 8 a really high reflectivity and a little bit of glossiness and we have a little bit of anisotropy okay uh, let's go in the camera and render there we need less glossiness let's say 0 0.92 okay maybe we can go also higher so 0 0.98 I like to have really nice reflectivity over okay it is reflecting in the right way so uh, let's pick both we have to move it on the ground there. We can maybe scale over both axes and move it in the middle there or maybe stay there. And we can rotate, but let's check without. So we can rotate from this point of view and save. Let's add uh, some candle and to add the candle we can uh, first of all uh, let's create something to maintain the candle inside and we can do something like that let's zoom we can move those vertices and we can start refining so we go to have there, there, and we can have something there, and something there. Okay, uh, let's remove the refine. We go to have this vertices there, and this one near there. Then we move this one outside. Then this one stays there and we move it this one can be a little bit inside same thing 
there this one is outside and this one is inside then we select all these vertices and also this one and we say to use the fillet and we start to add a little bit of fillet okay nice then we go for a late with the minimum let's say 36 uh, let's go in a perspective and let's work just on this one okay uh, so let's say that this one has uh, let's say that we have an edit poly or maybe before we have a shell modifier and we go for zero there and just a little bit inside or maybe let's try to have just a little bit outside okay then edit poly and let's say that the face in the middle I'm oh, sorry as ID set to 2 then the part on the top so let's see there we say that there on the top but with the window selection as 3 the same there okay let's say there we have three then select invert we have one and then select in the middle with the crossing and we have two okay let's create there a material candle glass and this one is a three material with a multi sub object so let's say three so the first one is a gold and we use a v-ray material we'll go for a black color we have freshen reflection let's say maybe 2.4 and the reflection is with this color similar to um, a gold but we go for something darker okay just uh, that's just the beginning so then we have and there we can say that this one is the gold okay then the second one is the glass so we can use a glass and we say that we have a black Freshen reflection with one four with a really reflectivity, high reflectivity, just a little bit of reflection glossiness, affect shadows. Let's go for an eye uh, a refraction and let's say that we have one zero and we have a little bit of multiplier let's say 0 0.25 nice and then the third one is a v-ray material and that's just the metal so we have a really high reflectivity with the higher air set to 18 and a little bit of anisotropy and reflection so back to the camera and without the uh, let's render and let's see how it looks I don't like to match the uh, material there the yellow color okay there is a problem because I used uh, the the wrong color let's render again it should works in a better way okay 
and we can have something different something like that and it can be a little bit less with the glossiness so we have more blurring and let's say that we have maybe four let's see again okay something like that so over the other but I like to have again brighter reflectivity okay uh, inside this one we can have a candle so let's make the people in the center and inside this one we can have let's use um, an extender primitives and we use for a sulfur cylinder and we say something like that okay let's move it and we put this one in the middle okay so uh, let's make a clone of this camera just to be uh, nearest and let's make a clone oh, sorry edit clone let's go for the camera too and we can move it Let's select the camera target. Okay, so we can check there. And then let's select this one. Let's give it the right point of view. Move it over the table. Okay. So we have the right model, but uh, let's see with the edges faces let's go for some for uh, sorry for to have more cap segments then uh, let's try also to have more sides 32 then let's go for uh, an edit poly we pick these vertices uh, with a soft selection a lower soft selection okay we go to move it a little bit okay and then we put something inside so we can use again uh, some for cylinder something really little okay and this one can stay in the middle of the candle we can put it there and it should be more little a little bit higher with less fillet more segments over the eight less over the sides we don't need cap segments and then we can put a band okay just to have a little bit of curve so uh, let's say uh, there we have the black candle and this one is a simply uh, v-ray material with a black color nothing so important maybe just a little bit of reflectivity nothing so much with a really glossiness then we have the candle and to make the candle we can go there let's say candle and we can go for a V-Ray Fast SS2 and let's use or maybe to make it more simple and fast we can use just a V-Ray material and we go to have something clear like this one and then let's go to have a little bit of reflectivity with the freshener reflection as always we have a little bit of uh, glossiness refraction 
ah sorry a glossiness or the reflection and then we go to have the refraction let's say that we have a little bit nothing so much and we need the glossiness also there so we go for something higher let's go for 04 for example and then we uh, pick the color using the um, fog color so we go for something like a yellow color we say maybe 04 and uh, let's try to see how it looks and then we tweak the various parameter so let's render there okay we have a little bit of uh, wax look uh, let's use also the translucent C let's go for the artworks let's say that the back, back, uh, scattering is more similar to a, a yellow color and we say that the scatter coefficient is higher let's go for something real uh, similar to 07 we can have a little bit less uh, coefficient for forward background and let's see the result okay and let's go for an higher level for the multiplier let's try with 5 okay it is nice okay so we have this candle so we can peak also the other object here and this one is a group let's call it candle one and we can zoom and we can have for example a candle on the side and another candle with a different proportion also there so let's make a copy we open this group and let's say that there this candle uh, is different so let's go for a perspective pick this one zoom let's see if we can do it and it will be higher okay and let's peak this one and rotate it just to have something different and this one can be a little bit different and the okay close so back to the camera number two and maybe to do something interesting we can have let's open again and let's have this one a little bit with a different radius okay and group close and save so uh, let's go in the um, viewport render there and let's pick this area and make a test render I like to add a little bit more reflectivity to the glass we are using there so uh, let's go for the glass okay and let's say that the reflection there are maybe 165 let's see again the render okay we can also change a little bit the uh, the fog multiplier let's go for 0 0.5 because I like to have a different look for the glass okay okay nice so uh, another thing I like to go to check the the metal there has too much glossiness let's see 
an example there. Okay, so um, this part is nice. I like to have more bumping there. So let's go for maybe we can do something else. So let's pick this one and let's have a V ray displacement. And let's remove this one and put as a map for to making the displacement two centimeters and back in the render we can render this part but we have to set again the bumping uh, sorry the displacement inside the render uh, displace and render okay this is obviously too much we need to have minus 0 0.5 Okay, uh, it is a little bit better, but I like to have a lower amount. So let's go for something really, really little. Let's try in this way. So you see the result is nicer than before. We can go just a little bit lower to 0, 1 and it should be okay. So uh, we have this part of the table and we can just maybe add something more to have uh, a little bit more stuff ready and then we can continue on the next part let's check with the perspective we have to put stuff also there so let's say we uh, <clears throat> with the table in this uh, in this way actually and I like let's remove the shapes there and I like to fix another problem there let's go the middle loop open and we have the glass there okay uh, let's check the glass let's set renderable and let's pick the shader and let's say that there we have one zero for the arrow red and we can have a little bit more reflectivity one six and uh, let's see a test render so physical camera one Let's try to render just this area. So let's try it there. And that's okay too. So let's make just a test for the entire image, but let's go for displacement. And to be faster, let's do a more little render. We we'll use the anti-alias. We go for something better for the uh, rendering. And let's go for 64 and 4. It is not the final settings, but it, it can give us a nice quality. And let's try to render. So it will take just a little bit. That's the first result. You see, it's really not bad. And we can make, let's make a clone for this one. So let's pick the group let's close and let's make a clone let's go in isolation and i like to make something a little a little bit different so let's open the group and let's pick this boxes i will change it manually Let's remove the group from the selection. Okay, let's use an edit poly over both. And let's say that those vertices will be scaled over the Y axis and those vertices will be scaled 
over the other axis. This image will be changed, so we pick this one, let's make a copy, and we call it art number two. We can assign, and let's choose another uh, another uh, texture, let's call it, let's see if we have something there, the ground, let's say for example this one, okay, let's rotate by 90 degree, group close, and we have to rotate it so rotate by 90 degree let's hide and then we can move this one for example there and let's remove these boxes there uh, let's scale this one and it can go there And maybe there so this one a little bit higher and this one too okay let's go back to the camera let's see without the displacement so you see it's not bad the general quality then in the next part we'll add more furniture there and on the side and we start to finalize some more things so maybe with not so much part we can finalize the entire image uh, let's see also from the other camera just to see when we are near how it looks maybe we can just move a little bit to have a more interesting image so let's see for example this point of view That's without the displacement. Now we see a test also with the displacement. Generally, it seems nice. Okay, let's set to on the displacement and render. Okay, you see that generally the quality is really nice actually. So we can continue in this way to update the final image. So for the moment, that's all. And I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.